Hi, this is Sandeep Jali and Manos Brilakis presenting case 195 for the Manual of Percutaneous Coronary Interventions. This is a case that was done during the Minneapolis Physiology course in June of 2025 that illustrates the value of coronary physiology for guiding percutaneous coronary intervention. The patient had severe medically refractory angina and significant disease in the right coronary artery. He had previous stents in the distal right coronary artery and had this uh, eccentric ulcerated appearing lesion in the distal RCA. This uh, seems to be a Medina 100 bifurcation as there is no significant stenosis in the distal main vessel and the side branch. And uh, there is also an eccentric lesion that is hard to characterize on the proximal to mid right coronary artery. So what is the plan? Clearly, the distal RCA lesion needs to be treated. And then our plan was to do physiology to determine whether the proximal lesion needs to be treated as well. Now, as far as the plan for stenting this, again, it's a 100. The PDA, we call this the side branch, and this doesn't seem to have significant stenosis. So our plan was to do provisional stenting, stenting from the distal RCA into the right posterior ladder. However, we had some challenges. The first one was wiring the lesion. Again, it was very eccentric and uh, highly stenotic. So what we ended up doing is try workhorse wire that did not go. We did different projections. Again, there is almost an ulceration in that lesion. So what we ended up doing is use a polymer jacketed wire. This was a Sion Black to go into the PDA, and then also using a Sion Black to get into the right posterior lateral, which was successfully achieved. And then we changed the guide wire for the pressure wire. And as expected, there's a significant stenosis. The DPR, which is the non-hyperemic index, in the PDA was 0.73. We predilated the lesion. And then uh, we decided to do provisional, as we mentioned before. After predilatation, it looks uh, pretty good. We don't necessarily always uh, uh, balloon the side branch, and here it didn't seem to have significant stenosis. So we did uh, place a drag looting stand from the posterior lateral into the distal right coronary artery. There was uh, an area of haziness proximal to the stand, and also, unfortunately, we now have pinching of the posterior descending artery. So we cover the proximal area with another drag eluting stand. But now we still have that significant stenosis on the ostium of the PDA that um, we thought required treatment. So we rewired it. Fortunately, rewiring was relatively easy. Sometimes it can be tricky when there is significant stenosis. But uh, trying with uh, a standard workhorse guide wire, we were able to eventually engage the PDA and with gentle manipulation, gentle rotation, advance the workhorse wire into the PDA. We then did balloon angioplasty, and for those side branches, we often like to use scoring balloons. So we use the score flex here to minimize the risk of causing a dissection into the side branch. So we did with a 2.0 and 2.5. Um, millimeter um, score flex that 2.0 didn't really uh, significantly improve the lesion. So we used the 2.5. And after the 2.5, the PDA does look, at least in geographically, fairly good. However, we did have the pressure wire and uh, we measured uh, an, FF, um, an FFR. And it was still fairly significant, which was a little surprising. So we did uh, a pullback. But this was extremely useful because it was actually not at the PDA that there was the problem. The step up was in the proximal to mid RCA. This was exactly the area of the eccentric lesion that we were seeing before. The other thing in this tracing is that we have a major drift. We see here that uh, when we come back into the guide, the pressure should get the pressure ratio should get back to one. Here is 0.90. Clearly, there is a major drift. Nevertheless, there is a big step up here, fairly focal. So this was at the area of the proximal to meet and not in the distal RCA into the PDA that did not have any significant translational gradient. We did use a track coated balloon into the PDA to minimize the risk of restenosis which um, made it look fairly good. And then uh, we went ahead and uh, placed uh, a 4.0 by 16 millimeter Megatron stand across the proximal to mid RCA lesion. 
And this uh, provided a nice result uh, with a TIMI3 flow into the right coronary artery, excellent flow into the PDA, and uh, the patient had an uneventful recovery. So to summarize, uh, this case provides several lessons. The first one is that when there is a highly stenotic lesion, sometimes polymer jacketed wires might be needed, sometimes a microcatheter, to cross them. And here, those lesions were crossed with a Sion black wire. Number two, this was a Medina 011 and provisional remains the preferred bifurcation standing technique for those lesions. In this case, we did have a pinched side branch, the ostium of the PDA, which was treated with a scoring balloon and a drug coated balloon with a nice final result. And then finally, we weren't so sure about the ostium of the PDA, but the pressure wire was extremely useful, showing us that there was no pressure gradient across the PDA, but there was a pressure gradient across an eccentric lesion in the proximal to mid right coronary artery that was uh, successfully standing with an excellent final result. Thank you.